Because when I say Vietnamese is a tough language, I'm talking about tough like gee whiz. Now when you look at this, what do you see? Well, most of you probably look at it and say, hey, that looks like a panda that just got done smoking a lot of weed. <laughs> well, you're wrong, and you need to stop thinking like that because drugs are bad for you in the first place. These are accents that play a huge part in how you say a certain word. Now, when saying these accents, you got to make sure that you're following what the accent is saying. Like this one's going up, so you want to go, sat. Then you got that going down, wing. Then you got, hoi. You, you, like you're following the question mark, you know, hoi. And then you got, nah, and then that's just a dot, so it's, no. Okay, so keep those accents in mind, and now we're going to continue on with the lesson. Don't mess with that girl, she's a thunk dee slut. <laughs> Trust me, I know. <laughs> if I see you walk in the house with a bond me, and you didn't get me a bond me, you know what I'm going to tell you? Do my mate, fuck your mom. Yeah, now cat, dickhead. Any of you have a friend named Trung? Oh, you got a friend named Trung? Well, guess what? His name is really Troon. He just thought you were too stupid to know how to pronounce it. Well, I have a friend named Troon. Last week, Troon bet with me on the football game. Troon lost. He still hasn't paid me my money. So I called my homie Troon up, and I said, Troon, give me my money. You lost. Don't be a job thing, son of a bitch. Okay, so the school board has been complaining about how much profanity is in these lessons. So I called the director of the school board and I said, Sin Chao, hello. Don't worry about what I do in my class and stop being such a meh long pussy face. Many of you have friends that are in relationships. They keep coming to you with their problems. Oh, he did this. Oh, she did that. Same thing over and over. To those friends, you say, Kam. Mean B. Shut up. Now I'm aware that Asians don't normally have big butts, but I was at Dim Sum and I saw this one girl and I was like, damn. Guy, bit, boo. She has a big ass. <laughs> and with all of that ass, I told her, hey baby, D V with me. <laughs> but but she just kept walking. So you got niggas hating on you. So you got bitches hating on you. It seems like everybody is hating on you. Today's lesson is about putting haters in their place. My buku de the unfo. You suck dick for fu. Bitch, please. You're over there worrying about what I'm doing when you're over there sucking dick for fuck. I'm out here buying my own banh mi, buying my own vermicelli, buying my own bun bao. Huh? What are you doing? Sucking dick for fuck. Sometimes these haters might even be your own flesh and blood. Yes, your own family. For example, your mother. My ma qua. Now remember the accents, everyone. It's going up. You gotta put emphasis on words like that. Emphasis. My ma qua. My fai ni. An om la. You're too fat. You need to lose weight. Well, mom, first you tell me I'm too skinny and I need to eat more. I put on a little weight, now you're telling me I'm too fat. Listen, ladies, across the board, if you're Asian, you are fucked. Your parents are going to tell you you're too skinny. Then when you put on a little bit of weight, they're going to tell you you're too fat. That's just the way it is. But let me just say, it's nothing wrong with being thick and having some booty back there. Some guys like that. And we all know that we have those haters that will come out of nowhere and come at you sideways and say some foul ass shit. And for those haters, here's what you say. My anglo di go ai vai. Have you been eating ass? Cause, cause I mean like, like, like really, you're coming at me sideways. I mean everything coming out of your mouth smells like shit. It's bullshit. We all know it. So you must have been eating ass. Now one of the biggest thing these haters will say is that you not getting no money. Or in Vietnamese, you not getting no thin. So to those haters, this this is what we say right here. My la thong thong ko thin thong keo thong cho de. My la thong kong ko thin thong keo thong cho de. You broke ass cheap bitch. If we want to get really technical, let's remember that sometimes in a lot of languages. There's not always a direct translation from English to that particular language. So if we really break this down to what it really means and what it's saying about these haters, then it comes down to you have no money, you're broke slash poor, and you're a bitch. 
Because that's what these haters are, okay? In conclusion for today's lesson, to all these haters, do man make on cat people. Don't let these haters get to you. And uh, ladies, it's okay with being a little thick. Don't listen to your mom.